Janosch Hugo Bruno Hanseli, was a pioneering Austrian-Canadian endocrinologist of Hungarian origin. He conducted much important scientific work on the hypothetical nonspecific response of an organism to stressors. Although he did not recognize all of the many aspects of glucocorticoids, Sully was aware of their role in the stress response. Charlotte Gerson considers him the first to demonstrate the existence of biological stress. Biography Sully was born in Vienna, Austria-Hungary on January 26, 1907. He grew up in Komarum, Slovakia, and the Slovakian language university in that town bears his name. He became a doctor of medicine and chemistry in Prague in 1929, went to Johns Hopkins University on a Rockefeller Foundation scholarship in 1931 and then went to McGill University in Montreal where he started researching the issue of stress in 1936. In 1945, he joined the University de Montreal where he had 40 assistants and worked with 15,000 laboratory animals. Cantha, 1992, in a survey of an elite group of scientists who have authored over 1,000 research publications, identified Sully as one who had published 1,700 research papers, 15 monographs, and 7 popular books. He died on October 16, 1982 in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He was a nominee to the Nobel Prize for the first time in 1949. Sully was of Austro-Hungarian origin and Slovakian ethnicity. Work on Stress His last inspiration for General Adaptation Syndrome, GAS, a theory of stress, came from an endocrinological experiment in which he injected mice with extracts of various organs. He at first believed he had discovered a new hormone, but was proved wrong when every irritating substance he injected produced the same symptoms, swelling of the adrenal cortex, atrophy of the thymus, gastric and duodenal ulcers. This, paired with his observation that people with different diseases exhibit similar symptoms, led to his description of the effects of noxious agents as he at first called it. He later coined the term stress, which has been accepted into the lexicon of most other languages. Sully has acknowledged the influence of Claude Bernard, who developed the idea of milieu interior, and Walter Cannon's homeostasis. Sully conceptualized the physiology of stress as having two components, a set of responses which he called the general adaptation syndrome, and the development of a pathological state from ongoing, unrelieved stress. Sully discovered and documented that stress differs from other physical responses in that stress is stressful whether one receives good or bad news, whether the impulse is positive or negative. He called negative stress distress and positive stress eustress. The system whereby the body copes with stress, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, HPA axis, system, was also first described by Sully. He also pointed to an alarm state a resistance state, and an exhaustion state, largely referring to glandular states. Later he developed the idea of two reservoirs of stress resistance, or alternatively stress energy. Sully wrote The Stress of Life, 1956, From Dream to Discovery, On Being a Scientist, 1964, and Stress Without Distress, 1974. He worked as a professor and director of the Institute of Experimental Medicine and Surgery at the University de Montreal. In 1975 he created the International Institute of Stress, and in 1979, Dr. Sully and Arthur Antill started the Hans Sully Foundation. Later Sully and eight Nobel laureates founded the Canadian Institute of Stress. In 1968 he was made a Companion of the Order of Canada. In recent years it has emerged that Sully worked as a consultant for the tobacco industry from the 1950s until his death, receiving extensive funding for his research, and taking part in pro-smoking campaigns paid for by the tobacco industry. He also helped R.J. Reynolds to recruit other scientists, and there is evidence that industry lawyers helped with the wording and content of some of Sully's later academic papers. The tobacco industry's funding of Sully's research was cited as an example of racketeering in the successful anti-racketeering case brought by the U.S. Department of Justice against seven tobacco companies in 2009.